So this is the Galaxy S23 Plus in green. I know it's been a while since this phone came out as I put aside my initial coverage so I could pass my classes, but the Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus have actually been put aside by the tech world too, partially because they got pretty minor upgrades and also because of the S23 Ultra still in the spotlight. But the plain galaxies are still top of the line with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, excellent 120Hz screens, very capable cameras, and some of the most feature-packed software on the Android side of the aisle. So let's get into today's coverage, starting with the build. The S23 Plus has a flat front and back, both made of Gorilla Glass Victus 2. The back holds the three cameras which no longer sit in a raised block, and the green color here is very muted but still my favorite of the options. The screen fills out the front of the phone symmetrically, leaving only a hole punch front camera cutout. The last remaining notable design element is the slightly bulbous sides, and the only downsides I can think of here are the boring overall form factor and that it rocks on surfaces. Getting into some video, let's start with crispy footage switching between the 0.6 ultra wide, 1x main, and 3x telephoto lenses. I think this camera system definitely brings the hardware to maintain the Galaxy's video heavyweight title. Next, let's get into some video with movement showing off this phone's stabilization both of the optical and electronic genre. Again, good video with great stabilization at excellent resolutions. Relating to that last point, even though there's no 8K footage in here as I'm currently unable to render in 8K, just know the recording angle, stabilization, and noise levels are vastly improved over last year's S22 in this department. Now let's watch some super steady mode video using the ultra wide lens. This feature is always good to have, but it's got a similar quality dip as the enhanced stabilization modes on other phones. And as you can see on the main camera, the video is pretty cramped since the stabilization crops in so much. Here's a clip showing off that front camera stabilization and autofocus real quick. And then jumping into some 12 megapixel photos, this is the building I've shot countless tech videos in across all three zooms. This is a good collection of lenses and they definitely come through when given ideal lighting conditions like with these snaps. Let's follow those up with even more photos taken with a decent amount of light, sharpness and colors definitely taken center stage here. And finally, let's get into some less than ideal shots. This phone's low light or nightography capabilities are better than ever through improved processing and AI smarts. I'm also pretty sure just using the word nightography in conversation doubles your photography skills. 
In all seriousness, I do prefer the look of the Pixel's night side over these photos because of the more extreme tone and more pleasant color representation, but also the S23 is good at seeing in the dark in its own way. To wrap things up, this has been Design Impressions of the Galaxy S23 Plus paired with sample photos and videos. Subscribe for the full review, which is definitely still in the works, and drop a like to congratulate me for getting through the semester. I'll see you later. <laughs>